Oh, pretty. I can see the fireworks from here. So as you may can see, as the fireworks is in the background, it is still Christmas. So I am pre-filming this in December. It's still 2019, so it's pretty weird. But it is December 29th. So we in Denmark, we start early, apparently. I don't. I don't do fireworks. I don't care about them. I like to watch them, but shooting them? No. So it might be some background noises. I will try to edit it out as well, as as good as I can. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an introduction for a new project pan, or it's round two, kind of, for me. This year I am doing it as a collab with a bunch of lovely ladies, and they are of course linked down below. And if you want to join, you are more than welcome to join us. This project was created by Becky Loves Kanga and she has done it for like two years now, the same round. I believe she is very soon ending hers because she is almost finishing entirely up 10 items. And Alexi that I got inspired from as well, she is joining this club as well as Emily and Sarah that I have mentioned most of 2019. I'm really excited about this. So I will choose my 10 new items. I have now 332 items that I can choose from. If I get a face palette or a palette overall, eyeshadow palette, I should say, I'm going to randomize the number numbers of shades that I have in that palette. But let me pull out pretty random. And I have 1, 2, 332, as I just said before. And let's just choose our 10 items. And if I choose an item that I have in another project at this time, I will count again. 1, 9, 7. I already have that. It is my Essence Mascara and I have that in my Roulette Pan Gulab. 287 is my MAC lipstick in Brave and that is a non cruelty free item so that is really exciting. So I will write that on my list. And 73. It is a blush. It is a W7 Matte Me Blush in El Toro. I'm not sure what color that is. I have a very light one and a very dark one and some two in between. So. Mm. Um, hopefully it's not the dark one. <laughs> New item. 46. I really want to do this on camera, but maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> that, I think that is a gold eyeliner. It is the W7 Petal to the Metal Duochrome Liquid Eyeliner in Stay Merry Golden. I, I believe that is um, a gold liquid eyeliner. W7 Metal Matte in Apolip. Apolip? Apolip? I don't know. I think I have written it wrong. But it is a lipstick as well. Long video. Sorry. It is an eyeshadow palette. It is the Blush Tried Paulina palette. And that is actually quite funny. I got that in the intro for last year's whole collection project pan as well. So hopefully it's not Aubergine again because I hit pan on that and that took a while but I love that palette so much so I'm not mad at all. It's quite funny though. I should get it two years, two rounds in a row, you know, for the intro. Funny. <laughs> 185 and that is a W7 Hologram 3D eyeshadow in pink. I got that as well in the last intro. That is so funny. Oh my god, what are the odds? 303. Also a metal matte lipstick in SOS. 
that might be a little bit more neutral though. Three more to go. 326. That is a lip balm. It is the Bird's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I actually don't know where that is, but I will try to find it and if I can't find it, I will just choose another one and come with that. I, I will try to find it before... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 29. Brow product. It is the W7 Brow Sweep. Yeah. 295. Another lipstick. Oh my god, nope. One, two, three. I'm doing another one. No more lipsticks. I, I can't do that. 37. A brown eyeliner. Mm, I think I can do that. I don't think there is that much left in that one. Let me go get my products and I will be right back to show you guys them and we can end this video and yeah. <laughs> I'm actually uh, okay happy about my products so okay let me start out with the lip balm that I couldn't find. I don't know where that is. It might turn up and then I will be happy but for now, I just chose a new item because I couldn't find it. But I know I haven't used it up. So it is somewhere in this house. Where? Don't know. So, I chose a new item for that. And that was number 20. Number 20 is a powder. It is the W7 Flawless Face Loose Color Correcting Mineral Powder. I have started to use this last week, I think. I have no idea how to track this powder because it is four different colors. So it is a green, pink, blue and a purple. It's not my favorite powder at all because it's kind of light and I feel like there's more purple and blue than those pink and green. <laughs> That's just that. Um, and the packaging is it's fine. So I'm going to use this up because it is the powder I'm working on, so that is kind of perfect. Um, is it going to take me most of the year? I think so. <laughs> but I'm going to choose this and I'm happy about it. Let me choose an eyeshadow from the Blush Tribe Paulina palette. Love this one. And as I said last year in the intro, I got... Ooh, Wrong purple. I got a machine and I hit pen on that after a few months, I think. So let me randomize one, two, nine. One. Why not? Oh my god. <laughs> this one. Friends. Oh my god, this formula. I have almost forgotten how beautiful this is. Oh my god, this is a beautiful shade. Mmm. Can I use this every day? I don't know. I will definitely try to wear it as often as I can. It is a beautiful shade. It is. Don't get me wrong. What did I expect? It is a colorful palette and it is going to be fun. It is going to be fun. My goal is to hit pan. And my goal is to finish this entire thing. There is 16 grams in this. And in these eyeshadows there is Oh god, I only know the total. There's 36 grams in total in this palette. Otherwise, I think we are good. The blush that I got is the W7 Matte Me Blush in El Toro. It is the one that is broken. And it is the one that I didn't want to get. El Toro is the dark one. Yes, it is the dark one and it is kind of a dupe for Make Your Mine as I am panning from MAC. Oh my god. It is a beautiful shade and I love these kind of blush shades. 
it is neutral but it is kind of dark on my pale pale skin tone i think it is going to be better when we get more towards summer and i get a tan spring maybe but gold is the head pan if i don't know how fast i can do that but gold is the head pan eyeliner Rimmel London Exaggerate. I had this in my graveyard project pan. It is a brown liner and I wore it down very good. So that is everything that I have left in it and I will give you a swatch. It's just a standard dark brown eyeliner. There it is. And there is a smudger here at the end and there is also a sharpener if I want to do that. Another liner is the W7 Petal to the Metal Duochrome Liquid Eyeliner in Stay Merry Golden. And yes, it was the golden eyeliner. I think this is going to pair nicely with the brown eyeliner. The green shadow though, I don't know. I don't know. But I do love this gold eyeliner. There it is. It's really beautiful though. I really, really enjoy this eyeliner, so that is going to be fun to work on. Gold? I don't know. The Wimmel eyeliner, the brown one, finished. Obviously. <laughs> then we have the Darby 7 Hologram 3D Eyeshadow Stick. And yes, this is also the one that I was working on last year. And I wore down the tip of the product, so it was here to the base. And because it had dome kind of at the end of the product so i don't know what my new goal will be with this product maybe to wear it down to this this mark right here on the product that is almost the same as the other mark but this is the next one. Oh, should would you like a swatch swatchy swatch so it has a pink base and green shift. Before the lip products, we have a W7 Brow Sweep Grooming Crayon in light brown. This is it. It is an eyebrow product that has this much product in it. Um, can I finish it? I don't know. I think the first goal is to wear down where the tip is to the base. It is a more cool toned light brown, which is perfect. The first lip product that I have in this project is my MAC lipstick in Brave. One of my favorite lipsticks at all time. I love that lipstick. It is neutral but pinkish and mauve. Beautiful. I love it so much. Then we have two from the metallic metals line from W7. The first one is Apollo and that is why I wrote Apollip. Apollo and it is an orange. Oh my god. It is beautiful. It is going to be so nice for spring and actually for fall as well. That one there. Yeah, it is very bright orange. So it could be an all around all year shade. And the last one is SOS, and that is a bronzy shade. I don't know how I feel about panning this. Um, that is going to be interesting. Maybe I can wear it as a nude or something. I love it, this shadow as an eyeshadow, but on my lips, I don't know. Um, maybe I can top it with something or mix it in with the orange. This is all the products that I am panning, plus the powder, colorful, yes, nude, maybe. I'm really excited about this project and I'm excited to see how I do with these products. They are very random um, and the colors, I would not say that they go together, <laughs> but I am definitely excited about working on these items and maybe I'll do good, maybe I will do bad, I don't know, but hopefully I can hit some goals and then change up some items. I will set some goals and you will know next time when I update you in a month. But I think the eyeliner is the one that is going to go first. 
And then I need to find some goals for the other products because they are tough. They are really hard products to pan. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to check out the other videos from the other ladies, you should definitely do so. They are linked down below as I said in the intro. I'm so excited to see their videos and what products they got and stuff like that and the color combination. Hopefully it is better than mine. I'm excited though. Check out the other ladies if you haven't already and until my next video, please take care. Bye! Thank you.